Hey everyone, welcome back to Intro to DJing. And in this video, what I wanna do is show you how to use Loop Catch here in Tractor Pro. So what Loop Catch will do is it will automatically trigger a loop when the track reaches to that point, and then you can do all sorts of other tricky things once the loop has caught without needing to press the button. So the reason this is really useful is I often like doing this, doing a transition from Party Rock Anthem into Cupid Shuffle by looping this every day I'm shuffling part. So what this sounds like is me looping this part every day I'm shuffling and then starting Cupid Shuffle at that particular point. So what I would have to do if I wasn't using loop catch is set click this button at the right time to set the loop at the right size. So it would be like this. We just want to see you. Shake that. And then here we go. Every day I'm shuffling. 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 So you get the idea. Now, this is great, but this means I actually have to click this loop button at the right size at the right time, which I may be wanting to do other things. I may be wanting to scratch the next track in, you know, and, and it's tough, you, you know, you can't miss this window or you're screwed. So the best thing to do is first actually save a loop that you want to recall. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn the loop on, find where I need it to be, and just set it as a cue point. Now in Tractor, the saved loops are interspersed along with the hot cues, but you know that this is the way that it, it goes because it's gonna show up in green. But what we're not going to do, what we're gonna do is we're not actually going to click on this button because what this will do will actually jump the track to the loop no matter where it is. So suppose I'm over here. Every day I'm shuffling. That's not what we want it to do. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to use this loop active button to actually activate the next loop coming up. So this works even if your track hasn't been loaded and you haven't pressed the loop button at all. Basically what you do is if you want to catch this loop, if you want to turn loop catch on, turn on active, you'll see the loop light light up, but you won't see where it is until it actually reaches that point. So notice here, suppose I'm playing the track and I decide I want to turn it on, click the button, Every day it turns shuffling. the loop on and catches Every day it, I'm so shuffling. it's actually looping. Every day I'm shuffling. Every day I'm shuffling. Every you day I'm shuffling. And there you go. You can go ahead and do your transition that way. So don't be afraid to set these loops here in Tractor and use the loop catch feature. It's really, really effective at basically activating the next loop after your playhead without you needing to actually press any buttons at the right time. You basically say, oh, I wanna do my transition at this point. Let me go ahead and activate the loop knowing that it will catch the loop once it reaches that point when playing the track. So hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video.